riding by this place here this morning and the roof is kind of funny. I think maybe they're gonna go solar. Good morning. It is Friday. The past month or so, my brother's been coming into work, but I'm by myself today. Peter still lives at home with our parents, which is about a three hour drive. And I just hired him to do some work for me this summer. He's really fun to spend time with though. It's pretty crazy. Does a lot of snowboarding. Check out his channel here. Oh, and we both love riding bikes. I think it's something our dad taught us. Something I've been wanting to talk about ever since I started this channel. It's a funny thing to talk about on such a cloudy day, but seeing that house with the solar panels going on the roof today, it really got me thinking about it. So currently only around 0.6% of the power generated in the US is from solar. This leads a lot of people to say that solar just, it'll never be able to provide our power, especially in the industry I work in, which has been the fossil fuel industry. And so I've really wondered for quite some time, who's right on this debate? Is it the sustainability and the green people promoting solar? Or would it be the fossil fuel people? This actually ends up being pretty complicated and I'm not gonna try to address that today, but let's go through a few of the things I've been thinking about. So Bloomberg New Energy Finance has come out with a report and in this they talk about the future of energy over the next several decades. We're going to put a lot of coal miners and coal companies out of business. See contrary to what coal miners or environmentalists or politicians may want you to believe, the change isn't always driven by policy. It can be, but there's a lot more going on than that. See, there's this thing called technology. And Bloomberg puts it this way. Wind and solar keep getting cheaper. Coal, natural gas, existing technologies, they're not technology driven as much as they are fuel cost driven. So their, their cost actually increases with time. Whereas a technology driven market, something like solar, the price will decrease as you produce more of it. Currently, Bloomberg estimates the price of solar at between $74 and $220 per megawatt hour. By 2040, they expect this to fall to something around $40 per megawatt hour. This is a reduction of about 60%. This leads Bloomberg to assume that by 2030, the cost of electric to gen generated from solar may be the cheapest option in many countries. And this was not primarily brought about by environmental regulations or rising fuel costs, but rather it was because the technology developed, we produced enough solar panels, and the price went way down. That would be work for the day. <laughs> now to finish off my project from yesterday. 